Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey. Darkness, or Chris is the British if you prefer, and I am bringing you a 46 and 7 domination game. We were victorious on our efforts, and I think you guys are going to enjoy the gameplay because it's probably one of my best gameplays so far on this game. Of course, I am using the Wii Remote because this is the controller of choice for me, this particular Call of Duty. And this is a Loki killstreak gameplay. As you can see, my killstreak set up on the bottom right corner. It is a dog killstreak, followed by a chopper, followed by a Loki. Now, I've had plenty of dogs, and I love dogs because they fucking come out of nowhere. You're just playing, calling your, your whistle, boom! Freaking dog from the netherworld just pops out of nowhere. It's pretty creepy if you think about it, but I love dogs. I always get so emotional when they're shooting at it. I lose my shit when they kill them. I, I will literally rage every time my dog dies and just go ape shit. So far, my ape shit status and efforts have gotten me quad feeds. Well, not really quad feeds. Kind of delayed quad feeds. Basically, I go ham for a, for a small period of time after my dog's death, which really contributes to getting kills. It makes me it makes me feel bad to even call the dog in for action to begin with. Sometimes it fails me. I've had situations where where it just spawns right in front of me and it kills me. I have situations where it spawns right in front of me and it doesn't even do anything and I just I kill it. I've had situations where my dog just stares at the enemy, growling. It's like, okay, you've done enough dog, thank you. I, I die, so. And my dog usually dies and I'm angry. Every time I die though, when I have a dog active, I just lose my shiz like, you better not kill my dog. I swear, you better not kill him. So, I get kind of emotional dog in battle. I think I'm going to stop using him, but I kind of I kind of love dogs, so I don't want to stop using him. I also have my air support, which is the chopper. I used to use the three missile strike. I can't recall the name. Um, however, I wasn't too effective with it, and I thought, you know what? Something that covers a map provides you with cover for a decent amount of time compared to something that really only attacks at an instance. However, I do recommend the Hellfire Missile variant because it's effective. If you're pinned down, you can easily call that in and it'll save your ass. But, choppers, you can't go wrong with choppers. I mean, almost Schwarzenegger's chopper of choice is chopper. Get to it. And Loki, or controlling the Loki satellite. It's just such an awesome kill streak. It was my first time using it. It's assault, by the way, of course. I haven't used the Loki support version, but I plan to. It's just too many uh, of those points. Yeah, I, I'm actually getting kind of angry because I keep spending my points on just the worst, worst things that I cannot use. Like, I have the Wii Remote, so I can't really handle fast fire rate weapons, which is why I use the Remington. And let me just tell you. Usually I go about barely breaking positive to sometimes going negative with any other gun. Uh, most of them being really bad choices that have fi high fire rates. However, when I use the Remington, which has a low fire rate, very good recoil, and high damage, I usually kick ass. And right there, dog saved my ass, by the way. And, yeah, I, just, I tend to do better with low recoil, uh, slow fire rate weapons with the weird remote, so... I, d I tend to get more than two KDR games with the Remington versus with anything with a faster fire rate. I I end up barely breaking positive if I'm lucky. Uh, with that said, I definitely recommend uh, slow fire rate weapons with, for Wii Remote users. But in any case, I I was pleasantly surprised when I got the Loki kill streak because I wasn't aware of what exactly it was. I assumed it was something like. The Odin strike, because you can you control a satellite, right? And Odin is a satellite that bombs shit, so I assumed it was something like that. I was actually pleasantly surprised, though. I was assuming I was just going to be able to bomb the hell out of the map with giant lasers from the sky. But I was obviously incorrect in my theories, as it's not exactly that. You get to draw, it's basically kind of somewhat of an AC-130 hybrid. Kind of, except it can't be shot down, and only has two actual guns. One is a big cannon, and the second is a smaller cannon. And then you can drop care packages and a juggernaut, which surprised me. I thought I was going to be able to drop a juggernaut suit for someone to pick up and run around in. 
No, I drop a bot juggernaut, which is like a ju uh, like a dog juggernaut. Well, not nah, there's no dog juggernauts, but it's basically like a dog. It's an AI c control. It's artificially intelligent. You know, it's controlled. It's, uh, I don't know the word for it. It's basically controlled the same way the dog is, more or less. I think I don't know. I'm not, I'm not totally sure if it follows you. I I did end up running into it without actually intentionally running into it so I'm not sure if it was because it was actually walking towards me or it just does its own thing but it is awesome of course you can control where the juggernaut goes after you release the juggernaut you can control them and have them go to one direction or another position or another position so I was basically just having to move from one flag to the other to try to defend it I'm not totally pleased with the the guns they seem more or less ineffective, but it all makes up it all makes up for it with the juggernaut suit because that juggernaut suit went on to get me a lot of kills. Uh, the big gun, the small gun, they take a while to reload. Uh, they, they are effective under controlled uh, hands, I guess. It was really odd controlling the, the kill streak with the weir remote, and that's my my main deal with the weir remote in general is it's very difficult to in fact control kill streaks with the Wii Remote because of the whole motion control deal but I, I kind of managed to control it and I was pleasantly surprised that I could drop a Juggernaut because that is awesome I was also pleasantly surprised that I could drop care packages right there I dropped a care package next to me an IMS unfortunately I couldn't pick it up <laughs> it's so cool I didn't realize you could drop care packages I thought you could drop ammo care packages or something along those lines but actual care packages that is too cool if I knew this, I would have spawned a wall of care packages right in front of my character. I'm not sure how many care packages you can in fact drop. Most likely limited to five or something along those lines because, I mean, anything more than that would probably be overpowered. You can get a handful of kill streaks, and I'm very disappointed that I didn't really drop a shit ton of care packages next to me because I could have had just all of the kill streaks I probably haven't used yet <laughs> right at my disposal. And this gameplay would have probably been like 60, 70, 80, 100 kill gameplay possibly. But uh, I wasn't fully aware that that's what the care package was, in fact. So that was a bit disappointing. But Loki Killstreak, you can't beat it. In my opinion, it's the best killstreak in the game. Certainly better than other ones. I mean, there's a chopper that you can control, shoots rockets. It's pretty cool. It only lasts for a bit. There's Juggernaut, which you can unlock, and you could be a pretty big beast with it, but eventually you'll die after you run out of ammo, which will be pretty soon. There's uh, Odin Strike, which is pretty cool. It kills entire t it kills the entire team once. It takes out their electronics, their kill streaks, and it destroys the map basically, which is pretty cool. It's like a finishing move from a Dragon Ball Z game, but it really only is effective at that one point and uh, granted it is it is great in both assault and and support terms because you're killing the entire team and you're destroying all their shit but Loki in my opinion definitely the way to go in terms of kill streaks because one you can drop care packages which will help your team and you potentially get tons and tons of kills and then you also have the added benefit of dropping a juggernaut suit uh, and by a juggernaut suit, of course, I mean a juggernaut AI character where, where that runs around and kills things. And let me tell you, it killed quite a lot of things. At, towards the end of the game, I heard people say, oh, most of, most of the times that they died was due to that juggernaut guy. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised. I saw a juggernaut suit. I assumed it was someone who took the suit. I didn't see Crisis Averted there. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's awesome. That really is awesome. So I'm surprised that the juggernaut lasted up until the end of the game. I don't know how he didn't run out of ammo, uh, but it was fantastic. I personally have gotten a salt juggernaut and ran out of ammo fairly quickly. We led on my pistol. Eventually, I got taken out after taking much damage. Luckily, though, my juggernaut in this game lasted until the very end of the game, which is fantastic. There you go. One, a Odin strike can get you a couple kills. A chopper can get you a couple kills. But hell, if your juggernaut survives as long as he can survive, you can potentially have him running around the map and giving you covering fire and having an additional God, player on your team kind of setting the balance off a bit <laughs> and <laughs> you can potentially just have a kill streak uh, somewhat overpowered one possibly in some uh, in some views 
running around the map protecting you along with a dog and care packages of course I didn't I wasn't fully aware of this but you can drop a bunch of care packages to protect your team the guns to be honest I, I, I don't really care about the guns to be honest with the kit with the fact that you can drop care packages and a juggernaut and control where it goes eh, that's good enough for me but the guns are added benefits you know I can destroy uh, people at different points on the map to try to help my team so it's definitely a really good support and assault kill streak and I definitely recommend it and I in my opinion it's the best kill streak in this game and as far as tactically I just love it. it it's definitely the best kill streak in, in any Call of Duty in, in my past experiences as someone has who has used all the highest and possibly best kill streaks in every previous game I'd say it's one of the it's probably the best I mean my swarms they kill me often I don't trust them my dogs who doesn't love a pack of wild dogs ripping people's throats out but all they do is get kills and granted they can't provide support because you're killing them so they can't kill your teammates but this <laughs> grants a lot of support in much of the same way so I really do think this is the best kill streak anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you understand the commentary thank you guys for watching